You know, we have to do a power loop now that we, we have to do it. A few videos back, I took this drone and dangled a mass under it with a winch to try to explain the complexity of the Perseverance Mars rover landing. Some interesting coupling of the two body system made it pretty hard to fly without active compensation in the control system. And I basically left it at that. A lot of people wanted to see my attempt at stabilizing this system, but I wanted to take a step further and go straight for the inverted pendulum case. So let's figure out how to do that. Before we get my drone to balance the pendulum, we first need to understand what goes into balancing an inverted pendulum in the first place. You probably already know that it's harder to balance a shorter rod compared to a longer rod. This is because the longer rod has higher moment of inertia, which can be thought of as a sort of rotational mass. A higher rotational mass makes the system less sensitive to inputs, meaning my finger movements don't have to be as precise or quick to keep it balanced. Adding more weight to the top further increases the moment of inertia and makes it even easier. Though easy is a relative term here. Anyways, my finger is exerting a force on the end of the rod to keep it stable, so we need a way to interface the rod with the top of my drone so it can do the same. My thought is to use some joysticks from an old transmitter to serve as a pivot point for the pendulum to attach to, and I can use the potentiometers in the joysticks to measure the relative angle for my control algorithm later. Of course, I'm removing the spring so that the joysticks are free to move around and don't center themselves. I think that would be considered cheating. I 3D printed a little mount to glue to the joystick and mount to the drone, and then soldered up the potentiometers to the analog inputs on my Teen Z flight controller. I'm running my own custom flight controller code, DreamFlight, which runs on the Teen Z microcontroller on board the drone. And the beauty of that is it's basically just a glorified Arduino project. So reading in these analog potentiometer values directly into the flight control code, uh, and then integrating the pendulum stabilization was a piece of cake. I needed to scale the analog readings to make them correspond to joystick angles. And then I added it to the measured drone angle so that no matter what orientation the drone is, zero degrees for the joystick measurement is pointing more or less straight up. The classic inverted pendulum on a cart problem stabilizes the pendulum by horizontally accelerating the cart to exert a corrective control torque on the pendulum. The actual acceleration needed is computed from the angle the pendulum makes from vertical, so a larger angle requires a larger acceleration to bring it back to level. On a drone, we can't just horizontally accelerate without first pitching the drone over, but we can assume that the horizontal force component from the propellers is proportional to the horizontal acceleration. So instead of commanding an acceleration to stabilize the pendulum, my controller is actually commanding a drone angle, but it's effectively the same. We can take it a step further and specify the desired angle we want the pendulum to track. I map this desired pendulum angle to my radio transmitter input so I can use the pendulum angle to control the position of the drone. All right, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give tuning my controller a shot here with this really long rod with a bit of mass attached to the end just to give us the best chance of making this work. I had a few more videos of me trying to tune the controller, but unfortunately this was the only one that didn't get randomly corrupted, but uh, all the attempts looked like this anyways. Kind of had a feeling this wouldn't be that easy. So uh, back to the drawing board. I'm measuring the pendulum angle from both the drone's angle and the joystick angle. And there's some error in both of those measurements. So their combined error is giving me basically unusable garbage for this use case. I thought I could get away with this approach, but what I really needed to do was just use a separate IMU to directly measure the pendulum angle independent from the drone's angle. I'll still use the joystick as my pivot point, but it won't do any of the measuring anymore. Uh, remember kids, don't take shortcuts or else you'll probably end up doing it the long way when the shortcut doesn't work. All right, we're gonna try for take two. Now with the uh, IMU, much more accurate uh, angle readings of the pendulum. And I've also got a shorter stick because I have a good feeling this might work. So uh, let's give it a shot. Oh my God, it's working. Wow, it's kind of working. It's kind of hard to fly. I nearly need to tune it better, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Look at that. I'm not cheating, I swear. It only took a little bit of tuning to get it flying reasonably well, and I can essentially control the position of the drone just through changing the desired pendulum angle. And uh, I'm doing that part manually through my radio. 
The pendulum controller itself is just managing the pendulum angle, and it's pretty good at rejecting disturbances as you can see. I'm sure I could tune it a little better, but I was pretty happy to even work this well, and I didn't want to waste too much time perfecting it. Uh, it's clearly not perfect, but that's okay. Oh, landed in a bush. Okay. I definitely meant to do that. Perfect landing. All right, Peter thinks he can uh, balance longer than a robot, uh, and I know for a fact that Peter's not better than a robot, so let's put it to the test. Three, go. Oh no. Oh no, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh. All right, all right, I see how it is. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm using my, oh shit. And just like that, my scrappy code beats Peter. So that was a fun little demonstration, but you know exactly what I'm gonna say next. You know, we have to do a power loop. Now that we've, we, we have to do it. Uh, the controller, it, it's what's called, it's, it's linearized about the vertical position of the pendulum. So that's basically the fancy talk for it, it, it don't work if the pendulum's not like plus or minus 40 degrees from vertical. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I'm gonna get it going and then uh, I'm gonna flip it out of pendulum mode and into acro mode. I'm gonna try and do like a, a power loop just the way I would normally do it. And then hopefully at the bottom of the power loop, the pendulum is kind of vertical and then I'll switch the pendulum stabilization back on. It probably won't work, but it'll be fun to try. <laughs> so let's do it. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Power loop! Woohoo! <laughs> well, it did a loop! Uh, I gotta work on that beta flight tune. <laughs> Alright, so what happened? I was flying along in pendulum mode trying to keep up some speed, and you can pretty much see the instant I flipped it into acro mode out of the pendulum stabilization, the pendulum just flops over and starts causing chaos in the air. At some point, I remember trying to turn the pendulum stabilization back on to regain some control, but I think the pendulum actually broke a prop in the air, so it was already a lost cause there. Can't say I'm surprised at the outcome, but also can't say I'm disappointed. I'm really happy with how this project turned out, and it's a great demonstration of how more advanced control algorithms can make drones do pretty interesting things. Definitely check out my previous video on the Mars rover Sky Crane because that was the initial inspiration for this project. If you have any ideas for projects you'd like to see me tackle in the future, let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the exciting new projects I've got coming up. Cheers.